Marines, sailors, and families, thanks for joining Bonnie and me in our home today to talk to you about one of our most important topics, our Marine Corps family. For the past 40 years, Jim and I and our two children, Jamie and Joshua, have been part of the Marine Corps family. We have moved 28 times and our children attended 25 different schools during our four decades of service. We understand the hardships you endure and the daily challenges that you and your loved ones face. We are a family that loves this nation and the Marine Corps just like you. Since September the 11th, 2001, the nation has asked much of its Corps. For seven years in Iraq, we fought and successfully subdued an insurgency intent on destroying the country. Today in Afghanistan and on ships at sea, we continue to defend freedom against a determined enemy. But our Marines and sailors are not the only ones who have sacrificed for this country. Marine spouses, whether you have been part of the Marine Corps family for a year or a decade, you face what often seems like overwhelming hardships. Bills, work, home, and school have taken a heavy toll on you and your families. More often than not, you are the ones dealing with the stressors of day-to-day -day life. Many spouses have expressed that they feel like the silent and forgotten ranks of this ongoing war. These challenging times particularly affect our children, some of whom think that mommy and daddy are periodic visitors in their lives. Bonnie and I understand the burden that the training and deployment cycle has placed on our families. Despite these hardships, you continue to persevere, making the best of each situation. We want you to know that your efforts are not in vain. I'd like to read to you a portion of an email Jim and I received from a spouse that captures the spirit of what it means to be a part of the Marine Corps family. And this spouse says, The reality is that people who marry Marines and those who Marines want to be married to are drawn to being part of a calling larger than themselves. They don't think of themselves as baggage or followers. They want to feel like they're making a difference just as much as their Marine is. This is the essence of the Marine Corps family. You may not have stepped on the yellow footprints at Paris Island or at San Diego, and you may not deploy on a ship or be part of a convoy in Afghanistan, but your efforts are just as important to the defense of our great nation. We've had the chance to speak to many of you, and we understand your concerns. We hear you when you say you are tired. We hear you when you ask why your Marines dwell time has been cut short again. We understand your anxiety as your Marine steps on that plane for yet another combat deployment. We know that life as a Marine Corps family is not easy. You're the 1% of Americans dealing with 100% of the fighting and all that goes with it. Bonnie and I want to express our personal thanks for all that you do. Your fidelity to the Marine Corps and its family allows our Marines and sailors to focus on their vital mission. Know that we are fully committed to you and your family and will do everything we can to support you while we continue to serve our nation throughout the world. So just as you would turn to your own family for support, remember our Marine Corps family is here for you as well. This video is the first in a series focused on the critical importance of our Marine Corps family. In the coming months, Jim and I will touch on a number of family readiness topics important to all of us. As we prepare to visit bases and stations in the months ahead, Bonnie and I look forward to hearing from you as we work together to support our Marine Corps and our Marine Corps family. Semper Fidelis.